हॅलो गाईज आय एम डॉक्टर रवींद्र सावरकर अँड आय वेलकम यू बॅक टू मेड स्कूल टॉपिक फॉर दिस व्हिडिओ इज राईट अँड लेफ्ट वेंट्रिक्युलर हायपोट्रॉफी द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट कन्सेप्ट दॅट वन शूड रिमेंबर इन केसेस ऑफ कार्डियक चेंबर एनलार्जमेंट ऑर हायपोट्रॉफी आर ॲबनॉर्मिलिटीज विल बी सीन इन वेव्ह रिप्रेझेंटिंग डीपोलरायझेशन ऑफ द चेंबर दॅट इज पी वेव्ह फॉर ॲट्रिया अँड क्यू आर एस कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर वेंट्रिकल and there will be deviation of axis of particular wave toward right or left depending on side of hypertrophy so in cases of ventricular hypertrophy changes will be seen in qrs complex with deviation of qrs axis i would highly recommend to watch basics of ecg first to understand this video better let's understand the genesis of qrs complexes in horizontal plane leads as you already know from previous video that septal depolarization occur first and its direction is from left to right vector of septal depolarization is directed toward v1 electrode hence lead v1 show small positive deflection which is r wave this vector is directed away from v5 and v6 electrode and lead v5 and v6 show small negative deflection which are nothing but q waves vector for ventricular depolarization is directed toward v5 electrode for this vector lead v1 show negative deflection which is s wave lead v5 and v6 show positive deflection which are nothing but r wave lead v2 v3 and v4 does not show any deflection for septal vector for vector of ventricular depolarization this lead show biphasic deflections positive deflection goes on increasing and negative deflection goes on decreasing from lead v2 to v4 either lead v3 or v4 shows equiphasic deflection and that lead is considered as zone of transition where s wave prominence changes to r wave prominence in this picture lead v3 represent transition zone In left ventricular hypertrophy ventricular depolarization vector becomes stronger and shifts further to left as stronger vector is coming toward v5 and v6 electrode r wave amplitude is increase in lead v5 and v6 similarly as stronger vector is going away from v1 and v2 electrode s wave amplitude is increase in lead v1 and v2 sokolov lyon index is based on this concept it is addition of r wave amplitude in lead v5 or v6 and s wave amplitude in lead v1 or v2 if this value is more than 3.5 millivolt that is 35 mm with standard calibration then there is left ventricular hypertrophy normally lead v5 have tallest r wave as qrs vector shifts leftward it becomes more aligned toward v6 electrode hence lead v6 will have tallest r wave transition zone that is equiphasic qrs shifts to right and present in lead v3 or even in v2 or v1 there is left axis deviation of qrs frontal plane axis in left ventricular hypertrophy qrs axis lies between 0 degrees to minus 90 degrees that is in this quadrant 0 to minus 30 degrees is considered as mild left axis deviation whereas minus 30 to minus 90 degrees is considered as marked left axis deviation when qrs vector is present anywhere in this quadrant most consistent pattern in ecg will be prominent positive deflection in lead 1 and prominent negative deflection in lead 3 left axis deviation is characterized by prominent positive deflection in lead 1 and prominent negative deflection in lead 3 qrs complexes in lead 1 and 3 appears to be leaving each other as discussed in basics of ecg purkinje fibers travels transmurally from endocardial to epicardial surface time taken by impulse to pass through purkinje fibers is called as ventricular activation time ventricular activation time increases as thickness of ventricular wall increases It is denoted in ECG by time interval between start of QRS complex to tip of R wave. It is usually more than 40 millisecond in left ventricular hypertrophy. 
देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकुलर हाइपरट्रॉफी लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकुलर हाइपरट्रॉफी ड्यू टू सिस्टॉलिक ओवरलोड ऑकर्स वेन लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल हैव टू पंप अगेंस्ट हाई रेजिस्टेंस ड्यूरिंग सिस्टोल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सच कंडीशन आर सिस्टेमिक हाइपरटेंशन आयोटिक स्टिनोसिस क्वेक्टेशन ऑफ आयोटा एट्सेट्रा लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकुलर हाइपरट्रॉफी ड्यू टू डायस्टोलिक ओवरलोड ऑकर्स वेन लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल इज फिल्ड विथ एक्सेसिव अमाउंट ऑफ ब्लड ड्यूरिंग डायस्टोल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सच कंडीशन आर एवर्टिक वॉल्व इनकम्पिटन्स माइट्रल वॉल्व इनकम्पिटन्स सीवियर एनिमिया एट्सेट्रा लेट सी इफ दीज टू टाइप्स कैन बी डिफरेंशिएटेड ऑन ई सी जी दीज टू टाइप्स कैन बी डिफरेंशिएटेड ऑन ई सी जी डिफरेंशिएटिंग फीचर्स आर सीन डिस्टिंक्टली ऑन लैटरल लीड्स दैट इज लीड वी फाइव वी सिक्स वन एंड एवियल इन लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकुलर हाइपरट्रॉफी ड्यू टू सिस्टॉलिक ओवरलोड क्यू वेव डिमिनिशेस इन एम्पलीट्यूड और डिसअपियर देर इज एस टी सेगमेंट डिप्रेशन विथ कॉन्वेक्सिटी अपवर्ड एंड टी वेव गेट्स इन्वर्टेड इन लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकुलर हाइपरट्रॉफी ड्यू टू डायस्टोलिक ओवरलोड क्यू वेव इंक्रीजेज इन एम्पलीट्यूड एस टी सेगमेंट इज इलिवेटेड विथ कॉन्केविटी अपवर्ड दिस इलिवेशन इज यूजली वन एम एम और लेस टी वेव इज टॉल एंड सिमेट्रिकल This is CG showing changes of left ventricular hypertrophy. Q wave in lead V5 and V6 is absent. ST segment is depressed with upward convexity. T wave is inverted. So this is left ventricular hypertrophy due to systolic overload. Here along with changes of left ventricular hypertrophy there is deep Q wave in lead V5 and V6. ST segment is elevated with concavity upward T wave is however not tall from these changes we can say that left ventricular hypertrophy is due to diastolic overload normally qrs vector is directed toward v5 electrode as you know lead v1 will have small r and prominent s wave with this vector as severity of right ventricular hypertrophy increases qrs vector is progressively shifted to right and r wave amplitude is progressively increases in lead v1 till it have r wave or qr pattern sometimes instead of q wave there can be a slur on ascending limb of r wave zone of transition that is equiphasic qrs is shifted to left and can be present in lead v4 or even in v5 or v6 peculiarly in right ventricular hypertrophy transition zone will have equal but large amplitude of r and s waves as vector is directed away from v5 and v6 electrode lead v5 and v6 have prominent s waves in right ventricular hypertrophy qrs axis in frontal plane is shifted to right usually this shift is between 90 degrees to 180 degrees that is in this quadrant but in extreme right ventricular hypertrophy axis may be deviated between 180 degrees to minus 90 degrees this region is called as northwest region when qrs vector is present anywhere between 90 degrees to 180 degrees most consistent pattern in ecg will be prominent positive deflection in lead 3 and prominent negative deflection in lead 1 in ecg prominent negative deflection in lead 1 and prominent positive deflection in lead 3 appears like reaching toward each other which indicates right axis deviation when qrs axis is present in northwest region that is between 180 degrees to minus 90 degrees most consistent ecg pattern will be prominent positive deflection in lead avr and prominent negative deflection in lead 2 In this ECG there is prominent positive deflection in lead AVR along with prominent negative deflection in lead 2 which indicates presence of QRS axis in northwest region In practice most common cause of positive deflection in lead AVR is wrong placement of limb electrodes Hence always look for sign of right ventricular hypertrophy There is QR pattern in lead V1 prominent S wave in lead V5 transition zone that is equiphasic qrs is present in lead v6 all these features confirm presence of right ventricular hypertrophy right ventricular hypertrophy is also of two types 
First, right ventricular hypertrophy due to systolic overload, where right ventricle have to pump against increased resistance. Example of such diseases are pulmonary stenosis, pulmonary hypertension, etc. In this condition, right precordial leads will show inverted T wave along with changes of right ventricular hypertrophy. Second type is right ventricular hypertrophy due to diastolic overload, where right ventricle is filled with excessive blood during diastole. Example of such diseases are tricuspid valve incompetence, atrial septal defect, ventricular septal defect, etc. In this condition, right precordial leads will show incomplete right bundle branch block, that is RS R dash pattern without QRS prolongation. Here, lead V1 is showing R wave dominance, so there should be right ventricular hypertrophy. But there is no prominent S wave in lead V5 and V6. QRS of lead 1 and 3 are leaving each other, which indicate left axis deviation rather than right axis deviation. So, is it really right ventricular hypertrophy? If you look closely, there is small initial R wave and this pattern is in fact RS R dash pattern. So, this is the ECG of right bundle branch block. From this example, I want to highlight the fact that changes of right bundle branch block in right precordial lead can be mistaken for right ventricular hypertrophy. So, ECG changes of right ventricular hypertrophy are right axis deviation of QRS axis between plus 90 degrees to minus 90 degrees, dominance of R wave in lead V1, shift of transition zone to left that is lead V4 and beyond, prominent S wave in laterally oriented leads that is lead 1, AVL, V5 and V6. So, what are the clinical application of this ECG changes? Chamber enlargement or hypertrophy is not the diagnosis in itself, rather often a sign of underlying disease. ECG changes should be used in conjunction with clinical profile of the patient. For example, if patient with dyspnea is having P pulmonal on ECG, most likely diagnosis is bronchial asthma or COPD. If patient with dyspnea is having P mitral with left ventricular hypertrophy with diastolic overload, most probable diagnosis is mitral wall incompetence. If patient coming to you for first time with hypertension with his ECG suggestive of left ventricular hypertrophy, it will be advisable to start antihypertensive without waiting to have record of higher blood pressure on multiple occasions. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you have any query or suggestion, please write it down in comment section. If you like my work, please like this video and share it with your friends. To get notified about the next video upload, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Till next video, take care and keep learning.